Note S60 has arrived and it's the first mobile with an included thermal camera on the backside here from FLIR. And some of you might remember that I've already presented you this device from the Mobile World Congress. And now the final product is here. We have way more details and especially first test results concerning battery runtime tests and processor performance. Here you see what is happening uh, because you have two images to be precise. This is that of the normal, the regular camera and you have that overlay with a thermal camera. The thermal camera is 60 by 80 pixels only. That's because uh, normal uh, devices with the thermal cameras separately are uh, way of, uh, let's say, more than 1,000 or 2,000 um, euro. So this one here for 649, including an Android phone, is kind of a compromise. So it's nothing for uh, everyone who wants to have very precise um, measurements, but it's okay for um, everyday usage, I would say. And uh, you see, it's not exactly the same here because I'm too close. You can go up to 30 meters with this device and I would say best is between three and five meters from distance. And here it's too close so you have that uh, it's not perfectly overlay in the same uh, direction uh, because I'm too too close. Nevertheless, I want to show you what you can do. For example, have just one measurement point here in the background. This is because of the lights left and right, uh, around about uh, 23 degrees, 22. And here is my hand once more at 30 degrees at the moment. So this is spot measurement. You can have the whole frame over here, then you will have an average, minima, maxima, or just a smaller in the middle, then you have the same one. And if you have a long press, you can delete all or several of these measurements. And you have here different um, color combinations uh, up to black and white. So depending on what you want to do, you have different choices here. Yeah, when we are at the cameras, the regular camera has 13 megapixels video in full HD, a two-tone flash here on the backside, and on the front, five megapixels and videos in full HD again. And the other thing you should know about that one, that's really ruggedized. So you have a metal frame, very solid, that's 13.2 millimeters thick and up to here where the camera is coming out, 14.2, but in most cases, 13.2. So it's 222 grams, very, very heavy. But on the other side, you can have it fall from 1.8 meters because it's mil spec 810G. And that means also that you can go swimming with that, diving up to five meters, one hour, if you... Um that's a mechanical flap that's covering here the microphone and the speakers. If you don't use, if you do not use this one, you need hard fingernails here for this one and a little bit of training, but then you can go up to two meters and just like it is. So it's IP68 mil spec 810G and you have that drop protection. So this is a real phone, let's say for workers and especially because you have no on-screen navigation here. You have these three hard keys and mechanical keys for home. And by the way, you can use this. I can really, um, I like this one, double tap to wake on this one here. Back, task manager, that's usual. And on that side here, of course, you have flaps for the water protection over everything. But what I do not so much understand is that um, SOS over here, because first, imagine you have an accident, you have maybe um, problems with your fingers or whatever, um, or covered with, with anything. So you have first to, uh, to open this flap and then move inside this one here and press very deeply for, I guess, three seconds or something like that. And then you're coming to that um, 
alert feature here so you can have uh, several um, um, contacts here and send your location and uh, program whatever you want to do but I'm not quite sure if this is really the right way to avoid um, something you don't want to do and working in a really case of uh, uh, emergency I'm not quite sure this one is just a regular button. You can uh, lay any action on that you want to. On off standby, uh, rocker uh, for the volume. And here the last is covered too, of course, the headphone jack. Yeah, and then coming to the display. It's not the biggest one, of course, because if it would have been bigger, it would not be, you couldn't carry it anymore. So it's just a 4.65 inch, 118 millimeters in diagonal. It's not too big, but it's quite okay. The thing is, it's just 720 by 1280 pixels. So really not too much, especially if you compare this to the street price or that's the recommended retail price at the moment still, 649 euros, at least here in German Europe, including tax, so it may vary in depending on your country, but it's really, really not a bargain. And for that, 720 by 1280 only, so coming to a density of 316 ppi, 40% below the average. But on the other hand, you see these tiny texts here. It's no problem to read them. And especially you have to know that it's really, really bright. I measured in the middle here 662 nits. That's 57% above the average for LCD and it's uh, IPS, no dual domain by the way, so you don't have that uh, double axis viewing angle stability, but you can see it's no problem at all. So especially in the bright sunshine, it's no problem to read this display. It's nothing for uh, multimedia fans. That's another target group. So it's for workers. So and you can work with that. So everything okay. You have 4G. You have dual say HSPA. You have uh, Wi-Fi N, but not in the five gigahertz band. So no Wi-Fi SC, and you have NFC. And on the back side, you might have seen this one already. You can have again need strong fingernails below that you have three ports so you have two nanos so you have real dual sim and this is a replacement that you can see okay on the up here that's for the micro sd card up to 200 gigabyte officially by the way and internal is uh, 32 gigabyte leaving a net of uh, 21.6. That's absolutely okay. Um, not saved money here <laughs> on that. Uh, so it's um, uh, enough uh, memory, I guess, even if you do a lot of uh, these uh, thermal imaging here. Yeah, coming to what I've told you uh, that it's um, a ruggedized phone. The last thing I wanted to show you here with the display is for the last one because I, it's a little bit getting wet now because uh, Kat is saying you can use this phone even with wet fingers or if the phone is wet and the display is wet. So this is depending on what you call wet. So you can do, you can have that. Let me go a little bit just only that it's still um, wet over here. So it's if you have wet fingers only, just some water drops on it, you can use it, but you lose preciseness with that. So you really should better dry the phone nevertheless. And uh, just give me a second for um, making up the mess here. <laughs> okay, so if it's dry, it's way better in the usage, of course. That's something I wanted to show you too. And with that, coming to the last point, and that's the battery. It's fixed, it's built in, of course, with this mill spec and everything, you cannot remove it by yourself, but it has 3,800 milliamps. That's huge for a phone, especially it's just 4.7 inches. So, in the runtime test, it coming to 697 minutes. That's 42% above the average 
rank 2 at the moment. But on the other hand, of course, it's just for regular phone usage, uh, done that um, runtime test, so it's not used with the thermal imaging. So if you're using this a lot, especially I guess in the first week or maybe even in the second, then you will have to recharge, I guess, because this is really needing a lot of power. But on the other hand, if you just use it for some minutes each day or something, it's no problem at all because the runtime is really, really great for a phone. So that's what I can tell you at the moment. There is coming way more, of course, like always, like camera quality and much more in the final review that's coming as a text on my website. You can click on the icon in the upper left corner here on mobiwatch.net. But give me about two weeks because I have to do some um, devices before that one here. This is just a first impression here for you from the Cat S60. Thanks for watching. Take care and bye.